Hi, this is Brett Frank with Avaya Client Services. This video demonstrates how to use the Avaya Health Check tool to test remote connectivity and alarming and to run product-specific health validation scripts. So, what is Health Check? Health Check is an easy-to-use tool that tests remote connectivity and alarm health, executes hundreds of tests to validate system health, it can remediate common alarm configuration issues, and is available for all entitled customers and partners. There are several ways to access the Health Check tool. You can navigate to support.avaya.com and click on the All Tools link at the bottom of the page, or at the top of the page, click on the Diagnostic and Tools link for the Diagnostic and Tools listings page. While this particular page is not the focus for this video, you may feel free to visit this page often and learn what tools are available for your use. At this point, click on the Diagnostics and Health Check submenu, scroll down to the Health Check submenu, and click the Health Check button. For ease of use, you may also simply navigate to support.avaya.com slash healthcheck to bring up the home page for the Health Check tool. From here, you have several options. First, you can create a new Health Check test by clicking the Create Test button. If you've already scheduled any tests to run in the future, the Manage Test Schedules option will take you to the Scheduler page. To view already completed tests, you have several options. You can view by site, view by SEID, and view your own tests. We will cover these options in greater detail later in the video. If you have any feedback on the usage of the tool, including enhancements and usability requests, click the Send Feedback button. Below the buttons, you will see a sortable table of products that HealthCheck supports, as well as an indication of what specific type of tests are supported by the individual products, such as connectivity, alarming, or health check testing. Finally, the Using Health Check Tool link will take you to the Health Check User's Guide for detailed instructions on health check usage. Now that you have navigated to the Health Check homepage, we will first start by creating a test. Click the Create Test button. Upon selecting Create Test, and depending upon your login type, you may see different options. An Avaya associate will see this screen and can enter a specific sold to, SEID, or upload a CSV file of SEIDs for the assets you would like to be tested. Note that there is a current limit of 60 assets that can be added to a single test via CSV. If you are an Avaya business partner or end customer, with your login you will see this screen and you can enter or select a specific sold to or upload a CSV of SEIDs for the assets you would like tested. Again, note that there is a current limit of 60 assets that can be added to a single CSV test. After clicking Create Test, on the next page presented, as an Avaya Associate, I will enter a specific location ID, or sold to, and then click Look Up Now. The next screen is broken up into two sections. At the top is the list of assets that have healthy connected statuses, and the bottom section are the assets in other states. For SAL connected assets, a healthy asset is defined as an SEID that is administered in a SAL gateway that is actively heart beating to Avaya. Note these statuses are refreshed every 24 to 48 hours, so an asset that has just been added to a SAL gateway may not show healthy until after this time period has elapsed. Once one or more assets are selected from a healthy assets list, you can submit the assets to perform a test immediately, or you can click Create Schedules for Selected Devices to schedule Health Check to run on a recurring basis. Again, at the bottom of this screen is a list of assets in an unhealthy state. The different states include Refused, the customer or partner has indicated that they do not want remote connectivity to that asset. Not entitled. The asset does not have an active support agreement, thus not eligible for health check. Unhealthy. In the case of a SAL connected asset, this asset is entitled, but is not administered behind any healthy SAL gateways. Or ignore. This asset is not eligible for health check for a different reason. Selecting the hyperlinked error code will provide you additional details on the Connect Health as well as instructions on how to change the status of an asset. Note that 
On many of these unhealthy statuses, health check can still be attempted by selecting the asset and clicking create test. The test, however, as indicated in this callout, is very likely to fail unless a recent change has just been made, such as the asset has recently been added to a cell gateway, but the reporting has not refreshed yet. For the purposes of this video, I will select a healthy device and then click Submit Selected Devices. The Verify Information page now appears. Here you can provide a test name for easy tracking. The site and user information should be pre-populated based on your login and additional email addresses can be added, separated by a comma, if you would like other individuals to receive notifications upon the completion of the health check tests. For test options, you can select whether you want to test remote connectivity and alarming only, or if you want to include an overall health check. You can also optionally request health check to attempt to fix alarm configuration on the product if the alarming tests fail. The supported products link will show you which products support this feature. Select the test that you desire, confirm the list of selected products is accurate, and then click create test. After submitting the test request, you will receive a request successful confirmation. Once the tests have completed, you will receive an email notification of the results with a link to view the details. Depending upon the volume of requests, it may take one to two hours to complete all of the tests. Let's return to the home page of HealthCheck to view some completed tests. Click the home link at the top right hand corner. As previously mentioned, to view already completed tests, you can click the View by Site button if you want to see completed tests by sold to or site ID. This is also referred to as the Site Dashboard. You can also view a specific asset's completed test by clicking View by SEID. Finally, if you want to view tests that you've set up yourself, click the View My Test button. Let's view the Site Dashboard of the site I used previously by clicking View by Site. After clicking the View by Site option, you will be prompted to specify the sold to or location ID. Specify the location ID and click Search. The Site Dashboard will now be displayed with several sections. The first section is a Health Check Recommendations banner. This is a rotating banner providing recommendations based on what Health Check knows about the site. The more Health Check is run on the site's assets, the better qualified the recommendations are. Clicking on the banner will open a new window providing additional detail about that recommendation. The second section contains the Health Check Key Performance Indicators or KPIs. These KPIs provide summary detail about the site and highlight areas of concern that may need to be reviewed. Selecting the radio buttons in the top left hand corner of each KPI will refresh the details table below. Note that the KPIs are based on the data from successful health check runs, so the more health checks that are run, the more comprehensive the KPI view will be. The third section is the details table. This section changes based on what KPI is selected above. By default, the connect details table is displayed and provides an overview of the health check statuses. The SCID is the unique identifier of that asset that was assigned during registration. The SE code field is the product type of that asset. Mousing over the SE code will display the product name, such as in this case, System Platform or CDOM. The nickname field is an editable field where customers and partners can provide a user-friendly name for that asset for record keeping purposes. The next four columns indicate statuses. Mousing over that status will give you a description of the status. In general, the statuses are green, the most recent test was a success, red, the most recent test has failed or there are items in the detailed report needing review. Click the view icon to see the details. Black, no tests have been run on that asset or it is not entitled to that test. Blue, the test is not supported by that product. And while we don't have an example on this sold to, gray, the test is currently running. The view icon will show you the detailed report for that asset and provides a wealth of information, including self-service content on how to fix issues with connectivity, alarming, and common test failures. If the asset has had multiple health checks run, then the compare icon is available. 
The compare icon will give you a side-by-side -side view of two health checks and highlight differences between the two. This can be helpful in identifying any configuration changes or comparing to a known good system state. From this page, you can also select one or more assets and execute a new test or schedule one in the future. You can also export the details of this table to Excel by clicking the export button. The final section of the page is the list of unhealthy assets. This table functions the same as described in the Create Test section of this demo with the addition of two buttons, Refuse Connectivity for this asset and Flag Asset as no longer in service. Selecting one or more assets in this section and clicking on one of those two options will move the asset into a Refuse status. Note that the option Flag Asset as no longer in service only impacts the status in Health Check and does not remove the asset from the install base. Please contact your account team if you would like to remove an asset entirely. Finally, let's go ahead and view one of the detailed health checks. There are two ways to access that data, with the View Report option listed here, or from the email that was delivered upon completion of the test. The emailed report will look similar to this and will also include a link to access your View Report details. The Health Check Detailed Report shows details on connectivity alarming, product software version, associated cell gateways and versions, as well as the detailed health check tests that failed. Clicking the link to follow the knowledge base articles will assist in resolving issues. Scrolling to the bottom of this report reveals a save report button that will create a PDF of the report for download. Thank you for watching. This completes the overview of the health check tool for creating tests and viewing results. If you would like more information on managing health check test schedules, please search the Avaya Mentor YouTube video channel for the partner video to this overview video named Health Check Managing Test Schedules.